Hey guys, welcome to another episode of State Your Case here on PPN. So today, we're going to be covering March Madness, and we're going to give you our predictions and uh, what to watch for. So, uh, who are your teams to watch in each of the four conferences? So, my team to watch out for in the East is probably Maryland. I, I do see Liberty beating, uh, beating Mississippi State, but I don't see them getting past there. I see Maryland at least getting two played in Michigan State or uh, but I don't see anything else happening in that bracket. Um, in the West, I have Syracuse. Syracuse is very, they're, they're a very good team, but they, they have some inconsistencies. They uh, behind, had some things happen. But I still think they're solid. They, they upset Gonzaga a couple years ago when they made it to the Final Four. Uh, a couple years ago, though. So I, they, Bayheim knows how to beat that Gonzaga coach team. And that, and that bracket, really, besides Michigan, isn't that good. It has a lot of teams with good records, but I think they're over, just like not that good because they play in bad conferences. My team to watch out for in the Midwest is Kansas. Kansas is a very good team as well. They're probably better than Syracuse, but the thing is they just didn't have the most consistent season. And for the South, I have Villanova. I know it kind of sounds weird, but Villanova is a sixth seed this season. They lost nine games. Could have had a better season, and they kind of messed with their seeding, but I still think they can get to a final four guarantee. Yeah, so for me, uh, in the East, I've got LSU. Uh, they're a really good team. You know, They've been playing well all year, uh, with their coach being suspended for either one game or maybe even a whole tournament. Uh, people have really counted them out. But they kind of got they've got a, a pretty easy way to get out. They play Yale in the first round, and if they win that, they'll play Maryland or Belmont. And I really think that those are two two games that LSU can win if they just pull together. Um, down in the West, I've got Syracuse. Uh, like Trey said, you know they're a really really good team. They've had inconsistencies throughout the year. Uh, they took Duke to the limits. They beat them once. Um, and Gonzaga, really down in the West, I think they're going to be the, the first one seed to get knocked out of the tournament. Whether that's by Syracuse or Florida State, Syracuse has a very good opportunity to do that. Um, over in the Midwest, Iowa State, another team that's had some inconsistencies all year. Uh, at some points, they've looked like one of the best teams in the country, uh, but at other points, they just seem like an average team. So I think that them playing against Ohio State in the first round is going to be a really interesting matchup, but uh, that's my team to watch down in the, uh, in the Midwest round. Over in the South, um, you know, I've got Oregon. Oregon, they just won the uh, the Pac-12. They're, they're coming in on a hot streak. Uh, they play Wisconsin in the first round, and Wisconsin really, they haven't been that great this this season. Uh, they always show up. For me, it always seems like they always show up when it comes to tournament time. But I think Oregon, I think Oregon's just gonna take it this time. So uh, now moving on, who, who are your final four? Who's in your final four? So, out of the East, I have a Duke. Duke's like an automatic. I mean, you can just fill your bracket out and I mean, I have to win the championship, but I think they can easily, easily get into the Final Four. I don't think Michigan State's that good. I, I always think Tom Izzo is kind of overrated. In the West, I got Michigan. Michigan's a very good team. Kind of slept on, considering they did make it to the championship last year. They have some guys returning, and now they have Brazidikas. I don't think Gonzaga's that good. They're good, but I just really think Michigan's a well-coached team. And they're a solid team altogether. They've shown it throughout the season. Out of the Midwest, they have Kansas. It's mainly between NC, Kansas, and Kentucky. I think I think Kansas will beat North Carolina. I think Kansas. I just North Carolina. I don't think they're the best team. You you can easily beat them if you find out their strategy. And their strategy is just to get in the paint. That Duke North Carolina game when Zion was out, it was everybody was missing threes. Nobody could make a three. So I think North Carolina is going to be caught when they can't shoot that three at the end of the game. And I just don't think Kentucky's that good. And out of the South, I have Villanova, the champion for the past two years. Virginia, they're they're choke artists. Last year lost to UMBC in the 16 versus one seed. I, they're good, but they've they've also shown where at certain games, those three losses, they've really just choked when it matters. And I think when they face Nova, an experienced team with a great coach like Jay Wright, they're going to get the job done. And so when it comes to the Final Four, 
Duke will beat Michigan. They'll enter the championship game. And Kansas will beat Villanova. And I have Duke beating Kansas in the national championship. All right. So ours do look pretty similar. Uh, for me, out of the East, I've got Duke. Uh, you know, like Trey said, they're a lot to get in. They've been playing so well all year. They've got so much talent. And Coach Caddy, you know, he's a great coach. Um, I think Michigan State, I think they could give them a run for their money in that, uh, in that Elite Eight game. You know, because in the past years, that, that top team coming in hasn't always performed. Uh, but I do believe that this Duke team is, is just different. There's just something about it that's different. But I still think that uh, Michigan State could give them a run for Duke's going to make it. Uh, out of the West, I've got Michigan. I've been saying it since the beginning of the year. Uh, don't sleep on Michigan. They're a really good team. Uh, they've got a lot of talents, and they've got the experience from last year. Um, I think they're going to beat Florida State in the Elite Eight, because I think Florida State's going to beat Gonzaga, but Michigan's going to make their way into the Final Four. In the Midwest, I think that's a, a division that's going to be dominated by Kentucky and uh, UNC. Um, I've got UNC making it in. I just think that, you know, they're a really good program. They've got a great coach. They've got a great history. They know what it takes to make it into the big games and, and how to win them. So I've got them making it in. And in the South, uh, it's, a, it's not really a very competitive uh, division. You know, not a lot of great teams. I think Tennessee could be a good team, um, but I just they haven't really shown up in the big games for me. I've got Villanova making it into the Final Four. And uh, like Trace, I'm core about Virginia. You know, they're choke artists. They, they don't know how to play in the big games when it actually counts. And so I've got the Luna over making it into the final four. So I've got UNC uh, over Villanova and making it into the championship. And then I've got Duke over Michigan. And I've got Duke winning it all.